Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video of a little issue that I've run into when doing high speed runs with the Vendetta. Um, as you notice, I don't have uh, the wing part in the rear. And uh, so yeah, one of the issues that I've run into is since I don't have this wing thing in the rear that kind of keeps these things stable, um, when you do end up getting in those speeds past 100 miles an hour, um, these things back here begin to like shudder like crazy. And um, I'm almost positive it's a hindrance and it'll cause instability in the rear um, when you're approaching those speeds over 100 miles an hour. So uh, one of the things that I decided to come up with was a solution uh, to keep these things as stable as possible. So to kind of find a way to remedy the situation was I ended up going to Ace Hardware and picking up some threaded rods and a couple of other things to kind of help keep some stability in the rear. And I, I used the rear diffuser to kind of help with the situation. And uh, I'll show a different angle so you guys can get a closer look at exactly what I'm talking about now. So here's a better angle so you guys can see exactly how I utilize the diffuser to kind of help remedy this issue that I've had. Um, so here's the rod and um, what I did do was when I purchased it from Ace, I purchased it at three inches in length. So what you want to do is actually cut this down to like two inches. Um, you'll notice a little black mark right there. And that's the actual depth that I actually went into the diffuser. So I went ahead and marked that with a Sharpie. And what you want to do is go in about three eighths of an inch. And then um, you'll want to actually drill this out a little bit bigger with a 532, 5 and 32 inch drill bit. Um, yeah, once you drill that in, that threaded rod will slide right in there without a problem. I'll just pause really quick to actually put this in place so you guys can see what it actually looks like when it's in. So here you can see I got the, the rod in place and I actually went to the depth of three quarters of an inch, right, or three eighths of an inch, sorry. Um, and again, when you cut it to two inches and you go into that depth, it should be perfect uh, for when you put the shell on. Uh, so let's see. So a couple of things you're gonna need is Two nuts, two nuts here, and these nuts, again, 832 diameter and thread. And the same thing with these. Um, these are a couple acorn nuts that will fit that same thread. What you wanna do with the nut is actually just go ahead and thread that in place, just like so. And what you want to do is just move it as far back as you can because um, what will end up happening is when you put the shell on top and I'll end up showing you what I did with the shell because I actually drilled a little hole through it to line everything up. But once you pop that shell on, you'll be able to pop it into that hole that you drilled in the shell and then reposition this nut in the rear um, so it holds that the shell from flapping around. And then what you'll do is you'll take this acorn nut and actually put it on the outside, tighten it up tighten up the nut in the back and that'll actually stop it from wiggling back and forth. And I'll go ahead and do both sides and, and show the final product so you guys can actually see what it'll look like. So here you'll see that I actually positioned both rods, have them in, <clears throat> in place, uh, lined them up at 3 eighths of an inch on both sides, uh, have the nuts on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the body on and put the acorns on the end so you guys can actually see what it looks like. I ended up drilling out my holes, like I said earlier. Let's see how I have it positioned. I kind of did a little mark here when I put the rods in. Um, just kind of let me know how far up I have to go and what where my alignment would be. Uh, I did it on both sides. You can kind of judge that on your own when you do your own shell. Uh, but let me put mine on. So I got both acorn nuts on, and again, I could just reposition these nuts 
to just kind of push up against the shell. Um, and that'll keep the shell from moving around. You can see how much more sturdy that is. Um, that'll definitely prevent it from rattling and shaking like crazy during those high speed runs, which I think will help with stability a lot more. I'll take it down from here and uh, give a closer look so you guys can see uh, what it looks like. Here so I hope this is a better look and I hope you can actually see things a lot better. And you can actually see that it's actually lined up pretty, pretty well in there um, with the acorn nut tightened up to the end and backing out that, that nut right there. Um, it actually works out quite nicely. You can see the same on this side. in I guess not but uh, you get the idea um, nice and tight on both ends pretty stable does not shake around at all I'm shaking up top and you can see that it's not moving at all well, I think this will help out a lot of the uh, these speed runners with uh, your vendettas and keeping uh, the back wings completely stable during those high speed runs just one more thing I wanted to add uh, when drilling the holes for the uh, when drilling the holes for the shell, I ended up using a 316th drill bit to actually uh, make the hole inside, which is a perfect fit with the acorn nut. I almost forgot. I just wanted to add one more thing before I get out of here. But one of the reasons why I decided to go with this type of setup for um, these threaded rods in the rear um, was because I wanted to be able to have something in place that if I needed to pop off fairly quickly I could um, I didn't want something that I would have to like unscrew constantly every time because uh, I considered just buying you know one long enough screw to actually kind of get to the end of that diffuser tightening it up calling it a day but I didn't want to have to go through the issue of unscrewing it every time and I figured just kind of like repositioning, making sure everything was lined up correctly, finding the right acorn nut to kind of go on the end or some kind of fitting to go on the end um, to have it in a, in a position um, where I could just pop it on and off uh, whenever I just have to swap out batteries or when I have to turn off the vehicle or whatever the case may be. Uh, just having that flexibility of being able to pop it on and off and that acorn nut uh, gives me that ability. So again, if you guys have any questions uh, comments, just go ahead and leave them below. And um, yeah, happy speedrunning.